Supposedly, we are ready for right. the winner. Judgment day. Absolute silence. Silence, everyone. The moment is here. Silence. Open. Uncle Loza. Messi. Messi does not. She doesn't form. She does not form. Ebuka. Pepper them. I can tell you that the person's name starts with an M. Definitely. Is it that Messi or Mike now? Ah. It's true, put the bag on them. Oh god. Is this viewing center? Yes! Hey! Hey! Oh, tension! Yeah! 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 Next day. From. Keep quiet! Oh my god. This guy is so noisy. Me, yeah! Are you not worn out? Me, yeah! Me, yeah! Me, yeah! Me, yeah! Keep quiet. Oh yeah, keep quiet now! <laughs> I'm in deep trouble where this girl is. Uh -huh. So, in other words, you're going to become a noise maker or what? I'm not understanding. Mia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. After screaming down the. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. Um. How are you guys doing? So today is, what is today now? Thursday. Today is Thursday. And I'm leaving my house right now to just go anywhere because Nepa has just been ridiculously ridiculous the last couple of days. Um, yesterday, we didn't have lights like almost for 24 hours, literally almost 24 hours. We only had lights to sleep and until the lights in the middle of the night and brought it just yesterday evening. Let the light for us to sleep again. And then before I could even open my eyes this morning, the light is gone again and i'm just like what's happening what's going on can you guys see why i'm very particular about leaving this country because this is just shit. like this is this is truly shit. yes light is needed for you to sleep of course use the ac and everything but then during the day i have to work i have to do so many things and i don't have light and then my generators are actually faulty the two generators that we have are faulty we're just solely dependent on nepa and you guys can imagine how frustrating that must be so I live in the house right now. It's a beautiful sunny day. Thank God, no rain today. Like being in a space where you cannot be productive is sickening. 
so yeah can you guys see why i talk about leaving nigeria and then my last vlog one of my vlogs that i did the want to leave nigeria thing i had people telling me oh stay in your country and develop your country am i the leader of nigeria am i the leader or am i part of the leaders of this country like are you kidding me are you really 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 kidding me like what's my own business what's what's my what's my concern i'm just the average nigerian citizen what's my own please nobody should even annoy you as in what's even annoying me i've had it i've had it i've just oh shit. Anyway, you guys, no more auntie. Let's just be quick. Faded in this dark and smoky room. With your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues. You know I kind of want to disappear. Papa! 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 That is what I would usually do. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So the last couple of days have been a blur, have been up and down for me, <laughs> literally. I've just been in a mood, I've just been in a kind of mood that even I do not understand. You know how you just begin to feel like unaccomplished, you begin to feel unfulfilled. Um, that's how I've been feeling the last couple of days, just that feeling of knowing that there's so much you could have achieved by now. So like there's so much I thought I would have achieved at age 30, career-wise, financially. Sometimes when I begin to think about it, it just puts me in a kind of mood that I don't understand and that would affect everybody around me as well. You know, I know that it's not, this is not like a thing that is happening to just me. I know that there are a lot of people out there that this kind of thing happened to. Like sometimes you just feel unfulfilled. Some people might say, oh, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for what God has done. Yeah. So while, of course, you should be thankful for your little blessings and the things that you do have, it's only natural to feel a certain way about the things that you wish you had and the things you wish you had you have achieved at a certain point in your life it's just the way i have been feeling the last couple of days just been feeling a bit unaccomplished a bit unfulfilled wishing that certain things were different wishing that certain aspects of my life were different so yeah just been feeling a bit off sort of and um every time i begin to feel like this and it begins to take over me i just pray and I always feel like whenever I pray, I feel better. I pray, go to bed, the following morning I'm fine. That's just it. But um, yeah, what do we do? We just keep striving, keep pushing, keep believing. Or the story will change and doors will open and opportunities will come along. If you feel like this or you have certain you know, feelings about life in general, Maybe feelings of not being accomplished, feelings that you can do so much better with yourself. And you know, the funny thing about feeling like this is that some people might actually comment down below and say things like, oh, if you don't like something about your life, you should change it. It's funny because sometimes when one begins to feel like this about certain things, there are things that cannot change right now. Or maybe there are things that you don't even have solutions for at the moment if you get what i mean there's nothing that you can directly do something about on the spot if not i mean many of us would have done a lot of things by now you get what i mean so yeah if you're feeling like this as well let me know in the comment section below let's talk in the comments as well say cheese hey they're playing so cheese boo boo cheese <laughs> Hello there, young lady. He's trying to crawl, but it's in all green hat. <laughs> in all green hat. Mimi? Hi, baby. You're trying to crawl. Mommy, I'm not even going to do Hi. <laughs> so, hey guys, how are you doing? Um, it is currently almost midnight, and this is when I have the time to do everything I want to do, like catch up on YouTube videos edit a video if I have to just more or less like have time for myself so I'm just catching up on some YouTube videos now that have been long overdue okay this is basically the only time I have Mia has become so needy these days I never ever have time to like do what I want to do yeah that's what I'm doing right now guys this vlog I'm sure if you're watching this vlog right now it's probably a very boring one to be completely honest 
nothing much has been going on nothing much has been happening with me i'm going to try and make a conscious effort to start doing stuff for myself maybe like give myself two three hours a day and just step out do something go somewhere yeah but for now this is my life and I know it's pretty boring, I know, but please bear with me, okay? So you guys, I just realized I didn't show you guys this. This is an Arsenal jersey. My dad was in the UK a few weeks back and he actually customized a cute little jersey for me. Uh, if you guys don't know, my dad is a diehard Arsenal fan. Like, he is so obsessed with Arsenal. But you guys, this is so tiny. It's looking big on camera because, of course, I'm up close but it is so tiny let me move back a bit it's so tiny and cute and it comes with the shorts so it actually comes with the little shorts as well and the back of the jersey says macom my dad gave me uh, an Igbo name of course my two parents gave her um Igbo names so um, my dad gave her Mako Chuku so he calls her Makom and then he goes ahead to actually customize the jersey with Makom it's just crazy but it's just the cutest little thing I, I love it it's so so freaking cute this man wants to induct my child into the Arsenal fan club at such a tender age like obsessed grandparents i just cannot deal <laughs> so hi guys good morning um i'm just prepping mia's meals for the day you guys know that i started her on solids like before she even turned six months when she was five months plus so um i just pureed um avocado and banana so this is going to be one of her meals of the day and um, right here i just boiled some potatoes some sweet potatoes and carrots which I'm also going to be pureeing right now. She wants to see wonder, won't get high grade. From a distance, baby, I'm going insane. Red cross, baby, come to my aid. Shorty said he busted my brain like a migraine. Your gain, my gain, your loss, my pain. Slow down, the way you go down. You know now, now me they run the whole town. King of the city, cause I wear that gold crown. So give it up for bad man, but I don't. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I just have to end the vlog here because I don't think I have anything more to vlog for this vlog. That's basically how my mornings go. Once I wake up in the morning, I think of what Mia is going to eat that day first and just prep them ahead of time. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to take a shower now and try to film a video. You guys, I have been trying to film for about three days now, but something always happens. Most times I have to film with Nepa lights because the generator is so close to the window of this room that if I dare to film a sit down or talk through, I can film like a one minute tutorial for Instagram with the generator, I don't mind. But like if I want to film a chit chat, get ready with me, a sit down video, I will need to use Nepa lights so that I don't have so much noise in my videos. Even though I have a mic, the mic always like picks up, also picks up external noise. So I always have to use Nepa lights to film and it's not been easy. For the past three days, Nepa has just been using us to do yeah yeah. As they literally won't have light for like the whole day and when they bring the light in the evening and I hate filming my talk through sit down videos in the night I just don't like it so um, yeah that's basically it I will just sit down now and film a video hopefully this light stays if you want to see um, a day in my life kind of video with a baby or like a day in my life with a six month old because well Mia is six months old plus now so if you want to see a day in my life um, video with a six month old, let me know in the comment section down below. Even though I feel like that video will be so boring, I'll have to pick up a day where I know that we have a lot of things to do. But let me know if you want to see a video like that and I will do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe guys. We're almost at 2k subscribers and I've always been saying it. I'm still saying it. It's going to be a giveaway. I'm staring at the giveaway box right now.
you can give away box there with juicy things inside it so make sure you subscribe and uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching make sure you also comment down below and share this video with your friends on your insta stories and i'll be reposting if you tag me all right see you guys and um bye. i'm the one to disappear with you but i don't think that is what i